let's say you want to prompt the user for a date range so you're going to set up another parameter this is going to be a little bit different than the uh, a parameter from a different video that we did so i want to right click on the word parameter here under the uh, field explorer and you're going to pick on the word new and this time i want to call it a uh, date selection that's the name of the parameter field and you want to make it either a, a date or a date time type uh, we'll make it a date time now on this parameter you don't pick a list of values what you're going to let them do is put in a range so you're going to come down here and for the prompt text i'm going to put in a inner date range yeah that'll be the actual prompt and then i'm going to scroll down and find one that's called allow range values right over here and then we're going to pick on uh, true all right let's see what that does for us uh, i'm going to click on ok notice how we have a new parameter that's called date selection now what you want to do is tie that into your selection expert to really actually make it work so we're going to pick on the selection expert and uh, notice how we already have the criteria in there for the country so i'm going to pick on new and then we'll pick on the uh, the date you know the date field, and we're going to say is equal to, and then you pick over here you pick your date parameter here we see the date selection, so that's going to prompt the user for the date and then incorporate that into uh, the the selection criteria. We're going to click on OK. When I click on OK, the prompt is going to come up that the user would see. You see here it says enter date range. That was the prompt text that I changed. And it wants to put the date in as month, day, year, and then because we said it's a date time field, we need to put the time, uh, the time in there as well. So I'm going to work with um, July 1st of 1998. Of course, any date range would work. But for the time, I'm just going to type in 00, zero colon 00, zero colon 00. zero. All right. Now for the ending date, oh, by the way, if you had picked just a date field rather than date and time, you wouldn't, you wouldn't need to put the date in. I mean, excuse me, you wouldn't need to put a time in. So now I'll, we'll go to July 31st of 1998. Now I want this to go to the end of the day. So I'm going to put in um, 235959. You know, that would be like the end of the day. So um, now you can also make it so that you don't include that value. And if you say no lower value, basically it'll go to the beginning of time. Or if you say no upper value over here, then it'll go to the end of time. So you can you can uh, experiment with those as well. Uh, I'm going to click on OK. Now notice how it only ran the report for the records that are in July. So the date prompt is uh, in effect, and you can see that um, the dates are being affected on the report. When the user wants to run different dates, just tell them to do a refresh. And then you say prompt for new parameter values. Click on OK. Notice how it's going to reprompt them for the country. That was the other parameter that we did in a different video. And it's also going to reprompt them for the date. So that's how we can put in uh, our parameters and specifically a date parameter in Crystal Reports.